listen, listen. Go ahead. And should be led away captive. Those of us that got caught were led away captive. Into all nations. Into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down with the Gentiles. Who's in Jerusalem according to Christ? Read it down part again. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So who's in Jerusalem? Gentiles. So you would think those are the Jews. Christ says those are the Gentiles. So this proves we've been great ones. Okay, now, what color is Jesus Christ? Remember the law, kingdom is ours. Dragon is raw, we coming for war. Nations gonna fall. You ready for war, strong in the law. End of our fall. Then pick up my saw, you killing them all. Ever seen it? We've seen it in Nigeria, right? Yes, everywhere. But I bet nobody can prove this is Jesus Christ. Nobody can prove it in the Bible. But this is in the Bible. There's no scripture for this image. But everybody says, oh Jesus, go through Nigeria. Oh Jesus, America. Oh Jesus, England. Oh Jesus. This is what happened during colonialism and slavery. Many of our people believe this false image. And they give their lives. Some of people give their lives for this image. And it's false. It's totally false. If we knew Christ looked like us, you know how we can unite so quickly? And overcome our enemies and hurt our friends. Do you want that? What's your name? Chris. Chris. I'm the thing. Nice to meet you. Hey. So definitely, Chris. Hopefully, one day we'll see you again. You, you're from. I mean, you live where? Yeah, I live in London. We're still in London. Yeah, I'm from right now. I'm from we going there this. We're going next week. I'm from America. Where's the school in London? Where's the school in London? Do you know? We're going next week for the grand opening. Oh, do you know the school in London? Did you give the address the school in London? I don't know the address. It's brand new. Anyway, we have we have a this way. Uh, Bishop. Uh, this man says he's a Muslim, but he supports what uh, what you're teaching. I don't really, uh, you know, he seems confused. If you if you want to enlighten him on on how it does not correlate together. Where, where are you from? I'm from the Gambia. Gambia. What kind? But you know, so both during the Sub-Saharan slave trade, you know, many of our people were uh, colonized and enslaved by the Arabs. That's how many of us became Muslims. Uh, it was through force, not because of faith. It was through force. The Bible is the solution for our people. When I say Bible, I'm not talking Christianity. I'm not talking about this foolishness here. The but give me a. Let me show I, you something. Give me a. Who got a Bible? I got a Bible. Want to read? Yeah, I want you to read something. Here you go. Get a, yeah. I'm gonna show you where the people of God are located in Zephaniah chapter three. We're going to read verse 9. Because if I ask you where the biblical Jews, where would you say they are? The biblical Jews. Where are the Jews of God? Where are they located? Jews. Where are they? Israel. Okay, where would you say? Where do you think they are? Okay, so you, and you watch this. With no scriptural proof, you say that because that's what television has programmed you to say. But let's see what the Bible says. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliance, my suppliance, even the daughter of my dispersed, meaning the daughter of God's dispersed people, right, shall bring my offering. You shall bring God's offering. In that day, thou shalt not be ashamed. You will no longer be ashamed right? for all thy doings, uh -huh. where thou hast transgressed against me. Right. For then I will take away, for then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in the pride, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. Right. I will also be in the midst of thee and afflicted and poor people. You're the afflicted and poor people, right? And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. It's going to come a day when you trust in the name of the Lord, which is the Bible. The remnant of Israel, who are they? The remnant of Israel. So the remnant of Israel, the Bible says, is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. When you look at, for example, in Ethiopia, you have a river, a, a major river called Addis Ababa in its capital. And it extends to the Nile. When you follow the Nile, that's what the Bible says the remnant of Israel is. But you didn't know that because you never read the book. Yeah, I never read it. You watch TV and go, and I ask you, where are the Jews? You go, Israel. No. Luke 21, 24. Watch this. This is what Christ says about the real Israelites. 
It says, uh, Luke 21, 20. And when they shall see Jerusalem come pass with armies. When you see Jerusalem come pass with armies, meaning the Roman armies. It says, then know that the desolation thereof is not. Your destruction is near to come. That's what Christ says. Go ahead. Then let them which are in Judea flee into the mountains. You Israelites which are in Judea flee to the mountains. What mountains is he talking about? Hold on. Get Matthew 2.13. The Bible tells you when Herod was coming to kill Christ. Where the angel told him to run? Watch this. Where do you think he ran? Do you know? You got a cross in your neck. You don't know? Where did he run? When Herod, Rome, wanted to kill Christ, where did he flee? Watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Where is Egypt? Yeah, where is it? It's in Africa. Remember, Israel is adjacent to Egypt. You can walk from Israel to Egypt. So the angel's telling them, so that proves what? Number one, that they're black. You couldn't hide in Africa from Rome if he was a white man. They go, oh, there he goes right there. So this is a black family that ran deeper into Africa. So now when we go back to Luke 21, the book of Luke 21, verse 20. And when thou, and when ye shall see Jerusalem could pass with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. Now we know where they ran to, deeper into Africa. Read. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter there too. Saying, don't come back to your homeland of Israel. Go ahead. For these be the days of vengeance. These are the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. All the prophecies that the Lord said was gonna, he's going to judge us for our sins came to pass. Read. Verse 24. 23. But woe unto them that are with child. And them that get suck in those days. For there shall be a great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. If those of us that stayed to fight Rome fell by the edge of the sword. They shall be led away captive. Those of us that got caught were led away captive. Into all nations. Into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Who's in Jerusalem according to Christ? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. We'll read it that part again. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So who's in Jerusalem? Gentiles. <laughs> so you would think those are the Jews. Christ says those are the Gentiles. So this proves we've been brainwashed. Okay, now, what color is Jesus Christ? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 